Hey folks, I'm Filler B, and welcome back to RimWorld. We are here with our big love playthrough, working our way uh, across the map to try and find a new way home. We have our donkeys and our horse Saucy here to help us travel along. We got some traders in, and Halifax here is looking a little bit hurt. Not quite sure why. Oh, she got hit with a mace a bunch of times. No big deal. Ryder is currently being trained to try and uh, help us around the place. Needs two more dots of hauling and then will actually be more useful. We've also got a third donkey. Again, if you've got any name suggestions for the donkeys, I'm happy to rename them. Right now they're just going to be Donkey 1, Donkey 2, and Donkey 3 until we get some names uh, going. So in this episode, we want to continue to build up our pack supply so we can move on. Um, we have a temporary person with us last for a little while. I'm not quite sure exactly how long. Uh, he's here in 16 days, so a minimum will be here 16 days. That's okay. Maybe a little bit of power problem right now because uh, there's no wind. And there's a tree in front, which needs to get absolutely destroyed. Anything else in your range here? There is indeed. Get rid of that one as well. Looks like I have a harvest of cloth coming in, which is excellent. We're trying to build some nice bed rolls. So we got one good double bed roll, that's excellent. One normal, that's good. And one normal single, that's good. Another one up here, another normal single. Excellent. So I think we're good with bed rolls now. We can continue to build up our um, clothing industry to get people properly clothed. We got most people in our good hats. Um, just Branford who's decided to wear something different, but that's fine with me. Very chill game at the moment. Would love to do more, but... Really, just gotta wait for the wind to go. Now, who is our person who is on plant cutting? That's Halifax. Halifax, what are you up to? Playing horseshoes. That's legitimate. After you're done the horseshoes, could you please do this? And this. Thank you. I wish when you hovered over this, it told you that there was... Oh, it says right there, blocked by popular tree. Love it. What to say, I wish it told you what the problem was, and it does. That's your back, Halifax. It's getting there. Really wish you would go deal with these trees so our food does not rot. That would be appreciated. Now, as far as I know, packaged survival meals don't have a shelf life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a couple of shelves out of wood. If I can use my eyes to figure out where they are on this map. Here we are, wooden shelves. And I'm just going to build them along the wall here. Uh, let's build them along. Where should we build? Let's build them along the wall here. Yeah, one. Two of those going. I don't really care their quality because we're just going to tear them down anyhow at another date. Thank you, Halifax, for dealing with this. Appreciate it. One down. Oh. Well, I can replant that over here. And then replant that over there. There we go. We got power back. Refrigerator should be cooling off. Love it. Can have a nice meal there, Halifax. Looks great. Now, I don't have much for these guys. So we're just not going to bother dealing with them. Definitely have enough kibble. Could use a bit more clothes. What have we got working on here? These are stone blocks. Nobody seems to be doing it. This is art to trade. Again, nobody seems to be doing it. Uh, we do have some research going, which nobody seems to be doing. We do have some order for some um, clothing. We've hit our pants and bowler hat cap. We need a button down shirt and a duster. So hopefully somebody gets around to that as well. The research bench is working fine. Lots of food. 
Package survival meals, we should continue to build. So I have quite a few. I have 10, 20, 30, 43 package survival meals. It's pretty good. I also like to build things like flak vests to get them on our people to make them a little more defended, as well as getting some better weapons. Now we do have the simple sidearms well installed, which allows them to have a um, regular weapon and a side uh, weapon. I think I need to work on the rules for that. See if I can remember how to get there. the assign tab yeah so I want to uh, edit this and I want DPS. I think I just want everybody to be on the assault. So melee sidearm rules, range sidearm rules. High DPS. Low warm up time. Let's do high DPS as well. Uh, that will keep it low warm up time, high SDPA. There we go. use this um this particular mod all that much seems okay manage rules okay select road out Sniper. Don't want anybody on that one, so I would like you to be assault. I would like you to be assault, and I would like you to be assault. And I would like you to be assault. Everybody's on no drugs, which is excellent, although I think Sherbrooke has a problem, right? If I take a look at Sherbrooke. Yeah, you have chemical fascination. Increasing frustration over time from abstination of drugs. Let's see here. Nothing here. So I'm gonna leave it at none. We'll see if that's okay. What I wanted to check is if we have those um, clubs done. No. Let's make a fourth one just in case. Who's our crafter? That would be Sherbrooke for sure. Sherbrooke, what are you up to? Okay. So you're eating a fine meal. After you're done that, I'd really... What do you mean you're not assigned to crafting? I was looking at the wrong thing. Our crafter is really Brantford and Surrey. So Brantford, you're still sleeping. Well, thank you for the gift. You gave me go juice, right? No components, which I missed. I don't see them anywhere. 
Okay, next item of art or furniture he creates will be two quality levels higher than it would otherwise be. This even allows the creation of legendary items. All right, Brantford, how is your sleeping? You're basically done, so I'm gonna get you out of bed. Uh, you don't really need food yet, so let's go to the... You're not assigned to art. Brantford? You are not assigned to art because you stink at it. You are good at construction though, all right. So something that's two quality levels higher. What do I want him them to build that we could take with us? Let me think now. Don't think I have the cloth for these. I have ten cloth. Yeah, I have 10 cloth, that's not enough. Probably not that. What about something for the ideology? I don't know if any of this really matters. Don't need the pollution pump. Might be just worth building like a royal bed. I don't think we have any gold. Maybe just a double bed. Carry with us. Could be good. A really nice table. Sure. Let's build a really nice table. So let's build it right um, here. This table is normal. Yeah. All right, um, Brantford, prioritize building that table for me. So who was assigned to crafting? Also Brantford. Okay, I'll have you working on that. Uh, Suri, what are you up to? You almost done sleeping? No, you could use a bit more sleep. Okay. Let's go, Brantford. If I get like a legendary table, it's going to increase my um, colony. It's going to increase my colony um, wealth, but uh, I can deconstruct the table we have and replace and carry the table with us from place to place and they'll really enjoy it. It'll make a, an impressive dining room. So a friendly AI from your past named Charlton Whitestone has sent you a message. He reveals that he has a ship hidden on his planet. He sends you the world coordinates. The ship is deep hibernation mode. You'll have to start it up when you arrive, then defend it from raiders trying to steal it. Until the startup sequence completes, it will be a long, difficult series of battles. If you can get the ship off the ground, Carlton Whitestone will take you off this room world and into the stars. Let's jump to the landed ship. This is probably the ending of the playthrough we're going to go for. Because it's way on the other side of the planet. It's in the Rocky Mosquito Talon area, peninsula, even if you will. Way over there, right next to a Waster's uh, plant. And we are over here somewhere, right here. So we have to travel across the world to get there, which we will do, picking up people along the way, getting ourselves armed, getting research done, all that business. And once we're done, then we'll come back, we'll get on the ship, defend it, and leave. And that'll be our end goal for this particular playthrough. Uh, one colonist is idle. Oh, that's the, uh, the moron that we don't like. We don't have battery tech, but we're working on the tech. Is anybody actually assigned to research? You are at a number one after grow and wardening, okay? Let's build a little, uh, since we'll be here for another 16 days, I suspect we'll get another um, raid. Let's build a little prisoner barracks right here. We'll make it a fairly large room like this. Let's take a 
wooden door on it. Um, let's stick the door here. And uh, we'll put some floor down while we're at it. Floors. Make the room pretty. And we'll see what we can do. And what are you doing? You get more wood? Perfect. Looks like we might need more wood cut. Yeah, I think we do. Yeah. So let's um, order some chop wood right there. Those components get put inside. Nope. Can somebody bring those inside, please? That would be lovely. All right, let's go up to speed two. Find room world is not really good on speed one, only in battle. Really, a speed two is kind of the speed I like to play at. I don't know about you. No longer inspired because you finished your thing. What did we get? We got an excellent wooden table. Perfect. Let's deconstruct that one. And we'll let it go. And Bradford is going to train Ryder. Ryder is one spot away from being able to haul. You're going to have some lunch. After lunch, I'd like you to prioritize the crafting spot, please. You can repair the, uh, the thing and then craft. I think I made them out of metal and I shouldn't have, but that's okay. They can be metal clubs. That's fine. Uh, who's our cook? That's Suri. Suri, what are you up to? You're cooking meals. Could you, uh, once you're done that, butcher? So you got some carcasses out here that need to be dealt with before they rot. Thank you. Now we got some clubs for people to have as their melee weapons. Excellent, I'm feeling much safer now. Hopefully people will go and uh, pick them up. Does anybody actually have a melee weapon? No, you just have a gun, pistol. You have a revolver. And a wooden mace. You just have the revolver. You have the bolt action rifle and a wooden gladius. And you just have a knife. Okay. Who would like to give you a ranged weapon? Are you any good at range? Uh, that's the wrong button. No, you're a melee specialist. So maybe I'll leave you as is. You can have a plasteel knife. All right, Brantford, what are you doing now? Playing chess. Like it. Did you do that after? Oh, Ryder might get trained up to uh, Hall. Come on, Ryder, you can do it. Stop running, Ryder. Yay! Ryder can now Hall. Thank you. These haul things from all over the map. Speaking of which, let's um, allow everything on the map except for this and this. Because we don't have booze and we don't have drugs. We're body purists as part of our religion. We don't deal with that crap. I don't know if I have any mining set up, but I'm going to set some up. Let's get this mining done. Let's get that done. Yeah, this is all set up to be mined. Let's do a little bit of this. Donkey meat has rotted away in storage. That's unfortunate. 
Is our thing not working? There's just no wind. Okay. This is still cold. Ah, perfect. So let's change this to clear all. And the only thing I want here is um, packaged survival meals on critical. Thank you. Because they don't need to be frozen, so I can take them out of the uh, room here. Everybody's in bed. No problemo. Once this one's built, I'll, build it. I'll do the same thing there. We'll put more packaged survival meals in here. Just so that they stack a little better, because then we can stick 30, I think, in each of these. Leave a little more room in here for meals that actually uh, are needed. So you're back to being above because there's no wind again. Yeah. That's okay. I can't build the other thing. No, I could build a wood fire plant and why don't I do that? Yeah, why don't I build that uh, right there? We'll get the power conduit right here. And let's uh, do a little build roof. Um, build roof right there. That way we can have a little um, bonus power going on. So two of my donkeys are diseased, which is unfortunate. They're getting treated. I think they'll be fine. As long as they continue to get treated. Thank you, pupper. Here we go. Pupper put everything on the shelves. Love it. Looks like I only need the one shelf for the package survival meal, so that's good. He building me some kibble. Absolutely love it. Oh, now you're going to build me some fine meals. That's great. What do package survival meals need? say requires 1.2 nutrition of protein and veggie certainly have that are you making them sorry I said make forever you're not making them you don't have the skill. Oh, well, that's fine. Let's make a few more. Um... Keep training you up to see if I can get you to uh, be even better. You're at 17.19 now. Work frenzy. 7.19. 7.22. OK. 
Okay, we're almost at eight. Okay, this room is done. Let's uh, build ourselves a double bed, an end table, a dresser. Uh, instead of um, doing that, I'm going to reinstall this over here. I'm going to uh, build a chair or two. Like that. I'm going to build a couple of plants in here to make the room pretty. And we'll build a uh, recreation device. Let's build uh, that. And a uh, perhaps a chess table. And build a copy and a chair like, like that. I think that'll pretty much do it. Um, it could probably use some light uh, furniture. Get a standing lamp. And we'll stick it uh, right there. And I'm probably gonna need power to go out there. Let's have the power come up like this. Perfect. That looks fine. Lots of power now. And make sure we bring wood and steel and components with us whenever we go. How are my animals doing? You got minor plague, your immunity is way up. You don't have uh, the plague, you do. And your immunity is way up. I'm not really worried. Shouldn't be a problem at all. I know I mentioned it before, but I really do love the expanded um, music pack mod that I put on. It really meshes in with the normal, well, excellent, the normal um, RimWorld music nicely. It doesn't feel uh, like it stands out or it's odd in any way. Um, and it adds more sort of, not depth is the right way, variety, I think, to the background music, uh, which was missing uh, previously. Because uh, while the original game had excellent, excellent music, uh, it certainly did sort of lack a. Um, It lacked a uh, variety in music, and so you ended up hearing the same songs again and again, and there were, there were periods of silence, and this, I think, mod makes up for that difference. Uh, good, that's done, so let's reinstall you into the corner, please. Um, Brantford, when you get up in the morning, can you do that, please? Thank you. I really love ooh, a little bit of loving going on. I really love that the um, I don't remember which mod it is. It might be the numbers mod, but it gives me all the stats down here that I need to know instead of going into the bio and health and needs and so on. I can just see that uh, Branford is about half satisfied for food, but really gaining on sleep here. Almost done. Needs a little bit of wreck, but not too much. It is feeling great, and his health is great. I can see they're uh, part of our religion, how old they are, all that stuff, plus all their skills and their passion for it. It looks great. Now, did anybody pick up a club? 
How come you're not armed with a club? You've got a melee weapon. You've got a melee weapon. You've got a melee weapon. You do not. Halifax, that doesn't make any sense to me. You have a sign. You are assigned to assault. I edit assault. Some nice steel clubs here. All right, well, I want you to pick one up. When you're done playing chess, can you equip this the club, please? You dropped your gun. I want you to equip that. Hold on. Equip that. Oh, the club is too heavy. Okay, oh. Okay, add bill. Let's make uh, knives then. I'll make two knives. And uh, details, uh, let's not make them out of steel. Okay, Bradford, what are you up to? Building a dining chair. Can you, uh, we're missing metal. Good. Never mind. Are you taking this? Battery. No problem. These are a miner. Sherbrooke, what else are you supposed to be doing? Cleaning? I really like you mining, actually. You could go do that. I do like that you clean, but I would like you to go mine, please. Cleaning dirt. Digging. Perfect. Now you like digging, right? Yeah, burning passion for my work, Force 14. This is what? Uranium. Yeah, so I'll build the knives out of uranium. As weird as that is. Uh, we need more wood. Or are we okay? I think we need more wood. So let's order some wood cutting. On uh, let's say over here. Perfect. Well, that takes us to the end of this episode. Hope you're enjoying the series. We'll see you in the next one where we continue with big love. Hopefully, to continue to build up our stockpile of. Uh, of um, survival meals. We need to get Suri fully trained on cooking. Not quite there yet. Needs a uh, 0.72 of uh, skill to get up. Uh, almost there. Got some other goals in mind. Uh, we'll see how we get. Maybe we'll do another ritual. We'll wait for last to finish and then we'll pack up and move on to our next location. Probably not too far from where we are, but something new, something different. We also get some mining done because we need to carry steel with us when we go. Uh, maybe we'll grab a couple more hauling animals, we'll see. One per colonist is probably good, but maybe maybe one more. We'll see. We'll see. We'll, we'll see who shows up. Another horse shows up, perhaps. If Saucy a friend. Anyhow, see you in the next one. Have a great day.